crew members. So today we have a iDrive controller that needs to be repaired that the customer mailed in to us. We're sitting in a 2012 BMW 328i and typically these iDrive controllers are located in the center console right here. And what happens is due to water, coffee, juice, it's very prone to having spillage there. And what typically happens is as time goes on, corrosion happens within the board and then the controller stops working or acts up. And so what the customer had done is they had mailed in the module for us to inspect and repair. And so that's what we're gonna do today and show you in the video and go from there. All right, so just to show you in case you ever need this service done, you can definitely mail it in to us. You can visit www.vp pro.ca send us a message we'll take care of it from there typically how this is removed is you would either use one of those prying tools or you can also use your hands on the top here just give it a tight pull and once it comes off it's fairly easy to to complete all right so once we have this piece out next thing you would do is carefully pull off holding the plastic end of the connector and there you have it, it's disconnected. So we got three Torx screws that hold the eye controller to the panel, we remove them, and then you can mail this to us. As a matter of fact, if you know anyone or if you are able to do some soldering, we're gonna show you in the video how to actually disassemble this iDrive controller and you might be able to do the service yourself. And so on the next clip, we're gonna dismantle the iDrive and uh, show you what's in there. saw after we inspected the board there was pretty much a lot of corrosion on the board and inspecting it with the microscope we noticed some of the through holes that typically connects points from one side of the board to the other side of the board also got corroded and eaten away so the connection point gets lost and so what we use is something called a magnet wire and what this is a very thin piece of copper insulated as well it's typically 34 gauge size but it's called magnet wire and what we do is we run this through the points between the two through holes and you can see in the video we solder on both ends to create a new connection and so sometimes what happens is if the through hole is actually eaten away so much that you can't solder onto that point you would trace that through hole to the connection point that's going to whether it's a component or another test point on the board and you would solder this onto there creating a connection and so that's what we did and that's what we'll show you in the video how it's done Thank you. 
So in this video, we pretty much showed you how to remove the iDrive controller, how to disassemble it, how to inspect the board. And again, if you do have some soldering skills, you can clean it up yourself. And if not, and if you don't know anyone that can assist you with this, you can definitely mail this in. All information can be found at www.vpro.ca. Mail this controller in. We inspect it for free. And if we see that this is capable of being repaired, we would give you a quote on and go from there so hopefully you learned something new here again don't forget to like share subscribe appreciate all the comments all the support so far any other videos you are interested in let us know coming up hopefully november december the soldering class we're going to be going through examples such as this and uh as always until next time take care